Drop, make that bass drop, match it, make that booty pop. That should be a movie. See that girl, she got some boobies. I got cooties. Yo, up. yo, yo! What is up, guys? This is your host, the mysterious gaming legend, the Enigma, coming at you with another Destiny video. So in today's video, we gonna get into some real talk, and in this video, we'll be discussing some of my concerns with some of the things that are coming to Taken King later on this year. So in today's Real Talk video, I want to express my concerns with the changes coming to weapon balances. More specifically, auto rifles. So straight up people, we all remember auto rifles back in like OG Destiny. You know, back when Zero Regime and Vanquisher and Shadow Price, those were the weapons to go into Crucible with. You know, I miss in Control when I would go in and clear a whole B point with my Vanquisher or whip out Cyrus dream and get somebody halfway across the map with that bad boy man and you know i remember when bungie actually came out with the you know the weapon balance and fixing thing back in like february or march or whatever that you know really really made auto rifles like shitty almost like you know i know bungie really wanted to make it to where they uh, where they had they wanted to make it where all weapons were you know usable but I don't think completely fucking up auto rifles was the way to do it. I mean, now all you see in, you know, uh, Crucible is Thorn and, and Last Word and Hawk Moon. More specifically, Thorn, though. God, I hate that weapon now. It, it's just, I only use it because everybody else uses it. And because RNG hasn't has yet to bless me with a Hawk Moon, too, so... Yeah, Bungie, you know, if you're listening, Hawk Moon for your boy. Thank you. But yeah, I think it's very important that auto rifles come back. Because, you know, auto rifle for people who are, you know, when I first came into Destiny, I whipped out the auto rifle the most because it, not only was it as easy, was it the easiest to use, but, you know, coming from like Call of Duty and stuff like that, it was the one I felt the most comfortable with. You know, it's a good all around weapon that you can use. And I'm look, you know, I looked at the um, uh, the weapon balancing 2.0 update that came out like maybe two or uh, one or two weeks ago, and you know some of the change, all the changes in there look legit, you know, minus a couple exotic uh, nerfs that I'm not kind of happy with, like the icebreaker one. I'm okay with the Galahorn one, just icebreaker. Why is that one getting nerfed? I don't understand that. Come on, buddy. Seriously. But anyway, yeah. So I looked at you know what they were doing the auto rifles, and it seemed all right. You know, it's getting a 10% buff in PvE, and it's getting, you know, an increased base damage, but will it be enough? Will it be enough to bring auto rifles back to their former glory? I'm really excited to see what, what's going on with that, because from what I see from, um, in that last weekly update, you know, we saw the weapon schematics for the different foundries like Zeros and Hake and Omelon. You know, they can come, they're coming out with some pretty good auto rifles through there, and I really want to see, you know, auto rifles become that good all-around weapon that you can use without having to worry about getting like fucking two-shotted by last word or have some asshole with thorn hit you two times with a headshot and walk away like a boss you know what i mean so yeah this has been your real talk for this week i hope you guys all enjoyed the video make sure you guys put down in the comments what you think about auto rifles do you want to come back do you not want to come back you know, what are you guys' thoughts on the weapon changes coming to Taken King? I'm really excited and uh, interested to see what you guys' thought points are on that matter. So this has been your host, The Cold Enigma. Hope you guys all enjoy. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe. And as always, stay frosty, my friends. I'll see you guys next time.